Uh, my name is Catherine Cronin in Galway in Ireland, and my GoGN research project was about um, helping to support community organizations in sharing open knowledge with um, their communities. Um, what worked well during the fellowship was very much having the structured support of the GoGN team, uh, both in kicking off, um, in regular updates and conversations, um, and even just in thinking about, you know, uh, producing structured outputs um, at the end. So it certainly expedited, you know, the the starting of the project and the speed of being able to complete the project. Um, and I appreciate the support very much. In terms of what could have been improved, um, I have discussed this with the team already. My research project was a new project. It wasn't something that um, had been started before the time that my fellowship began. So the six month time frame uh, was somewhat short for my project. My project involved finding and then building relationships with community organizations um, and supporting them in sharing their knowledge openly, um, which uh, in the case of the three organizations that I worked with, openness was a very new concept. So a lot depended on building those relationships and building trust um, in with three very different community partners. So six months was somewhat short to be able to do that. I mean, we certainly accomplished quite a bit in that time. Um, but I think, you know, uh, being able to have a slightly longer time to do my particular project, you know, would have been better. So perhaps um, that's the only thing I could say that could have been improved. The biggest takeaway from my fellowship is that there is, I believe there is enormous scope to support um, the work of our local communities, you know, that we live in and the, the local communities that are important to us to support them in sharing the work that they do, particularly in a post-COVID, um, if we can call it that, in a post-COVID time. Um, many organizations, even small local community organizations, are seeking to share what they do online, digitally, um, but have not thought about concepts like open licensing and um, privacy and sharing to the extent that we we consider those concepts you know as open education practitioners and researchers so um, i think there's enormous scope for higher education institutions and higher education professionals to support community organizations to in understanding those concepts and furthering their work um, by engaging uh, with with openness and um, and open licensing Yeah, there were a few challenges. Um, I did not, I, I sought to engage with a few, three to four um, community partners. And I envisioned those as being community organizations or community initiatives that were engaged with um, sharing knowledge in some way. Um, so finding those partners was a challenge um, to begin with. So I began by making contact with the community knowledge initiative, you know, the, the community engagement unit um, at the university here in Galway. Um, and they helped me to make contact with two of the three partners who I eventually worked with. And I found the third through other contacts. So finding partners was um, was um, a, a challenge. And then, you know, build, as I said, building relationships and building trust, you know, with each of those different partners, that just simply takes time because um, they didn't know me um, at all beforehand. So so again, it was time well spent and I will continue working with those community partners beyond the lifetime of this GoGN fellowship. Um, but you know that was certainly a challenge. The support from GoGN was multifaceted and also very important. So you know I engage in different kinds of community work, um, but it has never been um, as an open education professional. You know, it, it's been led by, you know, the, the needs of the various community organizations that I work with, whether that's youth or um, local community support or um, 
you know, a, a, another a, a range of issues. But this was going into community organizations as an open education professional, an open education researcher. And, you know, to be able to go in under the auspices of, you know, GoGN Fellow, um, funded by the Open University and Hewlett, you know, just brought a bit of um, understanding about, you know, what I was bringing with me. You know, I, I was able to go in in the very first meetings with these organizations and say, yes, I'm Catherine Cronin and I'm an open education professional and I'd like to help you. But, you know, as a GoGN fellow, um, I'm going to share the work that we're doing together with this global network um, of open education researchers. Um, they may have ideas and they may know about the work similar to what you're doing here. Um, and I'll bring that back to you and that'll help us solve, you know, the problems that we're addressing. Um, uh, and also, uh, you know, people will very, un, you know, people will find out about the good work that you're doing. So that could help you to develop relationships. So at, just as an example, this really was important in one of the partners, which is the Galway Traveller community, which was um, developing a digital map of traveller camping sites um, in Galway. And travellers are an indigenous community, travelling community in Ireland here. Um, the Galway Traveller Movement is a social justice organization which works um, for travellers' rights. Um, and so this map is a, was a way of communicating the history and the culture of travellers to travellers and non-travellers um, in Ireland. And, you know, being able to connect with other Indigenous communities in Australia, in Canada, in South America, in North America, which happened over the course of this project, um, was enormously um, helpful and inspiring, you know, to me as the researcher and also to the to the team that I was working with um, at the Galway Traveller Movement. So that's just one example of how the the fellowship really kind of amplified the work that would otherwise um, have happened. Don't count yourself out before you apply is my mm. advice. Um, that's something that I almost did. You know, I thought the fellowship might have been for more recent graduates or maybe um, uh, graduates in other parts of the world um, doing other work. Um, but the fellowship is so broad and applies to recent graduates, graduates of a few years ago, small projects, larger projects, single projects, collaborative projects. So my advice is please consider it if you are a Goji and graduate or soon to be graduate. Because um, it really is, you know, for anyone, um, you know, to further their work in the area of open education. The GoGN network has meant so many things for me over the course of the, oh, I don't know, six or seven years that I've been involved with it. So, you know, the the existing GoGN PhD researchers and graduates inspired me um, in the early days of my own PhD research. Um, as I came near the finish line, the GoGN workshops and, you know, fellow travelers and GoGN team really helped me, you know, in those in those challenging days of, you know, bringing the work across the finish line. Um, I developed, you know, just some wonderful friendships, you know, from working so closely together with people in the network. Um, and then through this fellowship and also just through the ongoing series of webinars and events, um, I have been able to stay connected with 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 the work that's going on globally instead of just kind of returning to kind of my own you know area of work in open education. So I can see that it's um, I hope that it continues to be that valuable. I can see that it's been valuable at just every life stage um, of of me my research in open education, um, and I just hope that continues. You know, one of the things we all know about PhD research is that it can be very isolating. Um, uh, an, another thing that we know is that working in open education can be very isolating um, because quite often people who are working in open education may be the only one or one of only a few in their, you know, in their department, in their discipline, in their research unit um, working specifically in the area of open education. So the GoGN network is um, is a lifeline um, for PhD researchers in this area. And I would say, you know, not only in helping you to uh, to complete your PhD, but in 
in the support and the kind of human practical um, support that's needed just to to continue every day and you know and then to work in this exciting area I mean I'm continually inspired by the work that my fellow Gojian um, researchers and alumnus alumna um, are doing um, and have you know have collaborated on work with them after completing my PhD so it's it's wholly inspiring generative and um, you know I can't thank the Gojian team enough for making it possible